Hello, hello, what's up, guys? So, um, I'm going to do a, a short tutorial on how you can edit uh, studio photos from something like this to something like this. Okay, so uh, here we are in Photoshop. Okay, so I already have my photo loaded up. Okay, so first things first, what I'd love to do is duplicate uh, the image. So that's Control J. Or if not Control J, you can just easily drag it on this plus sign here drag and drop then you come to filter other then you go to high pass so high pass basically is uh, the higher the number the radius number here the um, the sharper the image becomes so um, I don't exceed five but of course it's a personal preference you can go higher than five but I leave it at five as my uh, basic radius okay so just click okay then you come here on blend mode you go to overlay so if you zoom in so you can do it before so you see that after at least it's a bit uh, sharp so image these layers duplicate them again control J go to quick selection to uh, go here where it says select object this works well if you are using uh, Photoshop 2019 going up the current version of Photoshop that I'm using is uh, 2022 okay so we have our subject here selected you can zoom in just to make adjustments in case you miss some spots when doing the automatic uh, selection okay okay once this is done just go through all the entire image just check out the rest of the photo okay okay everything is, is okay now next step we come here where it says select and mask Okay, so here by default this won't be checked so you check why it says uh, decontaminate colors here then you can play around with the amount here but I, I don't normally exceed to 60 percent then down here you click where it says new with uh, layer mask then you simply click ok then remember also to check this button here uh, this box here where it says uh, remember, remember settings so that uh, when you load up the uh, another a different image, you need to remember the settings that you previously used. So once this is done, you just click OK. OK. So once it's done, you click this layer here. So we have two things here. We have uh, so we name this as the background. This is the background. And this is the subject or model so that way to be easier to know which uh, which layer you are working on so we'll start with the background as you can see that these uh, we are using a paper uh, paper backdrop so as you can see there are some there are some toned uh, areas here so what I normally do here just come here Grab this, just go on uh, fill, content aware fill here, go on content aware, simply click OK, don't do anything else here, just click OK. Then Photoshop will magically do everything on its own. So just do that repeatedly. Okay. 
you might be asking yourself okay what if we use the we use the spot healing tool it also works you can also use the spot healing tool just brush over the area that you feel should be corrected okay just like this just like this so it's up to you you can use this method or the other one i used previously they all work similar okay once this is done so i can quickly show you the before and after once this is done what i normally do is come here on adjustment then come here where it says ue slash saturation here so you can play around with the colors here uh, even if you're working on a white background you can still able to do the same thing here so in another tutorial i'll show you on how you can change colors if you're using the uh, white backdrop yeah but in this case we're using a paper backdrop so which is uh, brown by default so okay so come here on UV saturation here just play around with the colors here as you can see you can put it as um, green sky blue we've got blue all these colors it's about yeah it's, it's up to you can pick any color you want but in my case i already played around with the colors so what i normally do is i have i already saved my colors if you want i can share them as well so they already made you just load them up to photoshop so go to custom as you can see there are a lot of colors here there's blue there's browny one there's browny there's green ue so go with the brown one which is this one here okay so once it's done We'll merge this the saturation together with the background we select them all like that then we go to filter camera raw filter so just uh, make it look more realistic okay so as this opens up what i do is i drop down the shadows up to somewhere 55 or 50 also bring down the shadows the reason I'm doing this is what creating this realistic look on the backdrop here, the shadows. Then what I also use, I go on effects here, then look for vignetting here. I drag it down a bit somewhere, just like that. You see the reason why I'm doing this? I'll show you the after effect. Can decrease the shadows a little bit. Okay, just there. Once you're done. If you want, you can save this as a preset as well. Just go on save settings. So at the next time you load up a photo, just click on, um, just load up the settings, then it will do everything on, on, on its own. But in my case, I love experimenting. I change a few settings as I'm going. Okay. So you click OK. And this is the, this is the outcome. So you can do the before and after that's how it's looking so far next up i'll select the subject here not the layer mask one uh, layer no pick this one here then we go to we go to dodge and bend two but we pick the band two here this is to just uh to bring out the shadows on the subject just like this you paint over the clothes just like that okay so do the same thing with the hair okay then as you can see there are these uh, is this area here so in order to correct this one because then someone will be able to see that we've cut out the, the subject from the background so what we do is we pick the brush tool we go to this layer mask here then we can simply just paint over 
and just like that it's gone so it can do this in all the areas which you feel they need to be corrected just like that and it's done awesome next step we do a uh, skin retouching now in this case i'm using a uh, retouch academy so you can have it downloaded just google it so the one i'm using is uh, beauty retouch version 3.3 .3. so you open it up then you go to retouching using uh, via gaussian blur click on it click ok leave everything as default okay so what we normally do is we switch off these layers here and just leave out the one which says low frequency and high tones then we pick the mixer brush this one here so just zoom in zoom in then just start painting over start brushing over so what you do is you gradually move so just paint the highlights where the highlights you simply paint uh, with the highlights why it's a bit shady like that you just continue just like that so so I'll start with the highlights first so that once the photo is done that the, the model won't look too shiny because of the lighting in the studio when shooting the photo okay go with the shadows just like this Go with the highlights here again. Just paint over. Of course, I'm not too careful because I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial. So bear with me. Just like this. Of course, if you are lazy doing this, there is a plugin we call uh, Skin Finer. It does, uh, it's an automatic thing. Just click a button and it does the retouching on its own. I'll show you later. Okay, so once you are done doing the Retouch Academy, what I normally do is I come to Filter, Photo Tool, the Skin Finer. This is a plugin I was, uh, I was talking about earlier can have it downloaded just google it it's a photoshop plugin as well so as this loads up just leave everything as default but i already made a preset like this so it also adds in with the background just click ok then click ok Okay, once this is done, duplicate, go to camera row. Then now uh, you can play around now, you can put your own color gradings and everything. But uh, there's a preset I normally use, this one here. I click OK. I love the dark kind of feel. So once this loads up, I just decrease the opacity here to something like 35 and done so this is before and after merge the layers last thing i will do i'll go on a magic smile here to just clean up the eyes and teeth just like this And okay, have the before and after, and the photo is done just like this. So that's how I basically change background colors. So you can play around and see what uh, best works for you. Peace out.